Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us again today on Slow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me is Allie. Hello. Today we have another subscriber request. We had two subscribers uh, request this. And uh, this is the Alice in Snow Globe. Uh, <laughs> Alice in Snow Globe. <laughs> this is the Alice uh, in Wonderland. In Wonderland. In snow Globe. A, this is an Alice in Wonderland Snow Globe. That's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, this is huge. Um, this thing, like I said, uh, this was in a previous uh, new snow globe video that we did, and that's where the subscribers saw it. And uh, like I said, this thing weighs about seven pounds. Um, it's it's the probably the biggest base, most elaborate and largest base, intricate base that we've ever worked on. Uh, the the snow globe. Well, with the trees, the lanterns, all these things going on over what here. What about blue nativity one we just did? No, it's not no? as a lot. No, because that's all solid. Nah. That's all solid. This has trees that come oh, off, and you're. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. This has a lot of pieces coming off of it that could break off, and it's I, it's just. I didn't know. I now I understand what you were referencing. To. Right. It's a very intricate, detailed, and it has a, it's an elaborate the piece, design, and it's a lot. It's made. right. It's just Got huge. It. Um, so there's a lot going on here that we need to be careful about. Uh, now, the the snow globe here, in the middle of this whole scene, uh, we'll start with that. Uh, it's basically what's on the uh, table. Uh, it has a teapot, some cups, and it has a mouse hanging from an umbrella that is a ornament on top of the globe. The mouse is actually attached to the inside of the globe and he's hanging there and he swings back and forth. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see the mouse in there swinging around, but um, that is on the table here. Then we have uh, Alice in her chair. We got the Mad Hatter. I can't remember the rabbit's name. The rabbit is inside his own little globe here, which has an air bubble. And we have to deal with that as well. Uh, then we've got the, the other rabbit over here, the Cheshire cat up in the tree. Uh, so I'll go ahead and turn this around so you can get a, a look at the, the side of it in the back. The back of it is just a wall of, mm -hmm. of like ivy or, or leaves or whatever. Uh, back here, there is a winder for a uh, music box. So there's a music box in here and the tune, what's the tune? The tune is uh, the unbirthday song. <laughs> I've never heard of the unbirthday song. Anyway, that's yeah, the, the tune. The, Okay, well, I, I'm not that familiar with the movie, I guess. Uh, the Unbirthday song, whatever that is. Uh, but it also has a uh, button back here. And we didn't know what this button did. But when you press this button, you can hear a uh, like a, a humming or a uh, vibration. You can hear like a motor running, but nothing's happening. Uh, and we mentioned that in the video when we first showed this. And one of our subscribers said that this runs a motor. And it's probably hard to see, but in the middle of the table, there's a hole right behind the coffee, uh, the teapot. And what I believe happens is the motor sends uh, water up into the globe through that hole, which our subscribers said makes the mouse move around inside the globe. So that motor's not working, but we think it might be because the water in here is all murky and, and gunky and there's all a bunch of stuff in there. That motor may just be clogged up, so we'll have to see what's in there. And then hopefully this is attached with hot glue. If not, we'll have to see about getting this uh, little uh, globe off of here to get that air bubble out. But uh, this actual, uh, we gotta be careful with this um, base here. Uh, it's not a typical base, it's screwed in. It's not glued in, this is a huge cover here. So. Uh, First time fixing one of these, so we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. So this is gonna be a new experience for mm -hmm. us and we'll see, uh, maybe we'll learn something on this one. So uh, why don't you join us? All right, let's do it. Let's fix this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get access to the globe and what's running that motor. So we're gonna put this on its back here since that back has got that long flat area. Uh, there are three screws. There's a screw in each one of these feet. Now, hopefully that's the only thing holding it in because there might be screws and uh, hot glue. I've seen that before. So let's start by getting these screws out of here.
Okay, now what I just realized is those screws are not holding the cover in. Those screws were just holding those feet on. <laughs> so, uh, so those screws were doing nothing. All right, so this obviously must be uh, hot glued. So we're gonna have to take the hair dryer and heat this up, loosen up that hot glue so we can get this cover off. Uh, I'm gonna get these batteries out of here so that they're not in the way. And then uh, Allie will get the hair dryer and we'll heat this up and uh, get that cover off. I forgot to take the winder off here, so we've got to take this off in order to get the... Yeah, we don't come across too many winders. Yeah, so uh, winders off, and you know what? I'm just gonna make a quick, you know, uh, yeah, you know what? This only goes on one way. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, it looks pretty simple. Uh, oh, they did us, huh? This, these Disney globes, uh, they did us a favor here. They gave us connectors here Excellent. so we can, yes, so that we can, uh, all right, so we just gotta make sure. Uh, I'm gonna put a piece of tape. Uh, where's the tape? <laughs> I am gonna put a piece of tape to mark this wire, this wire here. I don't think it makes a difference, honestly, because I think the power is going this but I just wanna make sure I get the right connector with the right connector, but it looks like it's just splitting off and sending power to the motor. And, uh, oh, that's it. Okay, the power switch connects here into the battery pack and then the battery pack up here to the motor. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect these wires. So this is very nice. I mean, Disney did a great job here of uh, making this easy to, to disconnect and repair. So uh, kudos to Disney on this, good design. <laughs> All right, so now the switch that we have here, that's fine. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, wow, look at that. Okay, we're gonna have to prop this up into some kind of a holder that we can protect the, uh, the, the, the base so we can get access to that uh, stopper. And the motor is right in the middle of that stopper. So we're gonna see how this works out. Okay, we're gonna set this up and be right back. Okay, we found a... Uh, container and put a blanket in here to hold this piece so it would be steady and wouldn't break so we've got it in there pretty secure and Allie's gonna hold on to it here so we've got the stopper here uh, the stopper has a motor right uh, you know installed right in the very center of it I'm not sure if we've ever worked on one like this it's a it, don't think we have I don't think we have so this is gonna be interesting but this is a s very small uh, stopper here it's gonna be a tight fit, and uh, so I'm gonna to try to get it out like I do all the other stoppers and uh, see what happens here. So um, this motor being in the middle of it makes the stopper very uh, very stiff and, yeah. and hard to work with, so we'll see what happens here. Oh, not as bad as I thought. It's actually easier than I thought it would be. Good. Yeah, so, so far. It's a good thing. So far, so good. Alright. Alright. Seems like she's coming straight up. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what it's doing. Yep, there we go. There we go. Okay, and there it is. Alright. Alright. Now, is this, scary. this figurine is covered in Ugh. all kinds of brown. Gook. Look at this. This is, this, is, this, is, this is probably why the motor's not working. Yeah. Now let's see here. Let's plug this in and see what happens when it's out of the water. Okay. That, no, that doesn't go there. Ooh, the it does not have a pleasant smell, my love. Doesn't smell good, huh? Mm -mm. Not surprised. That water is fermenting. Mm. Okay, so we've plugged it up. Let's see now if I press the button, what happens here? Uh, where's the button? Button's right here. Okay, so. Oh, no batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll help if I put some batteries. Okay, you want me to hold something? Okay, right there. 
Okay, now we have batteries in there. Let me press the button. I feel, okay, there is an impeller right here that's supposed to spin. And it's not. It's stuck. The motor's trying to spin it, but it's not working. So if we can get that impeller unstuck, I think we can get this thing working. Okay. But that's the, that's the key right there. The motor's trying to run the impeller, but that impeller is not budging. All right. So we got to find out what's wrong there. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, clean this up and uh, take a look at that motor. And then we've got to get the water out of this globe. I'm going to pull this out of here. And, uh, and then we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, we are making some progress on this globe here. <clears throat> now, one thing that happened, uh, the, uh, the globe itself, uh, we cleaned the globe. And the thing is, I was only gonna rinse it out because that uh, little mouse was uh, hanging from the inside of the globe. So I wasn't gonna put anything in there. I was just gonna rinse it. But as I was rinsing it, the water actually uh, caused the mouse to fall out of the globe. So here's the little mouse that's hanging inside the globe there. Uh, now that's not a problem because uh, this was just hot glued to the top of the globe. So that'll uh, be an easy fix. Yeah, so once the globe is dry and this is dry, we'll uh, clean it with alcohol and then I'll put some hot glue on here and stick it to the top of the globe. We'll probably, uh, we'll, we'll film that later on when we get to that part. However, the most important part right now is what's going on with this, uh, this motor here. So this is what I found out. Uh, and uh, this motor right here, I had initially thought that maybe there's a shaft that goes from the motor into the impeller here that uh, drives the, uh, the water. Uh, we haven't finished cleaning this totally because we found a couple of uh, problems with this. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, if I press the button here on the, uh, on the button to run the motor, I don't know if you can hear that, but the motor is running and there is no hole. Let me turn this off. So the motor's running fine, uh, but there is no connection between the motor and the impeller. That's because it's magnetic. This is a magnet that's spinning in there. And if uh, you can see it, let me press the button again. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's very hard to tell, but this inside piece is spinning. That's the magnet that's spinning and the other piece is in here. So uh, since there's no opening here to get to it, it turns out this uh, stopper was just uh, kind of glued to this uh, figurine here. And when you remove it, you can see the problem here. Just loaded with gunk. It is uh, number one. Well, not just, <laughs> loaded, not just loaded with gunk. Let me finish removing this uh, figurine here. That's then we just can, part of it? Yeah, we can put it this. Okay, so I'm taking the figurine off of the stopper here. Mm -hmm. And so the figurine's going into this uh, cup here with the uh, mouse. Mouse. Uh, this impeller, as you can see, it is rotted. Yeah. It is... Uh, That's what I meant by gunk rotten yes. stuff. <laughs> it, is, it is not moving. It's got a bunch of... It's got... Uh, it's falling apart, actually. So in order to get this fixed, I'm going to need to see if I can find one of these impellers or some... Uh, this is beyond repair. Yeah. It's so old that you can see it, it had metal. There's, this was like a, it must have been like iron or something, some type of metal that the magnet was driving. However, the water over time rusted the metal to the point where it broke the impeller. So in order to complete this fix, we have got to replace this piece right here with something that'll work. Um, oh, wait a second. I just did something and it spun. Oh. What do you do? Uh, a little piece that was stuck in there broke off. Let me see. Hold on. Let's see what happens if I press the button now. Nope. Still not working. Oh, almost. It's trying. It's trying. It's trying, but I think what's happening is the metal inside this impeller that was working along with this uh, magnet has been so deteriorated that it's no longer, the magnet's no longer able to, 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 to get it. So. At this point now, we're going to have to put this project on hold until we figure out how to fix this and then we'll get this yeah. thing back together yeah. and we'll come back and either, we'll either finish this video or what we'll do is we might just go ahead and put this out 
with this and then do an update yeah. uh, at a later date when uh, we do get something that we can fix this with. Uh, there might be an assembly like this in some other globe that we might be able to find. I'll have to do a uh, search online. Uh, maybe we have another globe uh, somewhere in, in, yeah, uh, that, that we're you know waiting to be fixed that we possible. could use. So uh, we will come back and give you an update once we figure this out. Okay. All right. So until then, uh, keep in touch. All Stay. Right. Keep your eyes open. We'll be back. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. So we uh, have examined this a little bit further and I discovered that this uh, impeller is actually glued down to the center of this uh, stopper here so um, yeah this was this was glued down so now I've got this off of the stopper here and I have a better idea what's going on here now and it may be hard to see let me see if I can put it on this background here um, the this pin that holds the impeller in there it has a uh, flat top it's like almost like a like a like a nail that's what's holding this in and that's why i was having trouble removing it because this is uh kind of blunt on the top to, to keep it in there it's actually pressed into this bottom piece so what i gotta see if i can do is hopefully this is just pressed in and not uh glued i should be able to knock this pin out of there releasing this and then I can see uh, about doing the next step. Uh, so let's see if we can get this out of here first. Okay, so I am going to try and separate this. And of course, this is, uh, this is something we've never done before. So this is something new that we're trying to figure out as we go along. So we're just using the tools that we happen to have here. So I've got this little vise here. And in order to keep uh, this from breaking, hopefully I can salvage this. I am going to use this serving fork here <coughs> and I'm going to put this serving fork in between the impeller. Dropsies. Yes, I can't keep my hand on uh, the impeller and this uh, plate here. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Okay, so I've got that serving fork right there. All right, so Allie, if you could hold this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this vise a little bit and get that impeller in there. Let's see, right about a little more. Okay, hold it right there. Let me get the impeller in the, in the vise here. Okay, now let me see, hold that. Yeah, let me see if I can knock that pin out of there. Hopefully, let's see, it's not, it is not glued in there, hopefully. There we go, did it. All right, so that worked. All right, so there's the bottom of the impeller assembly right there. Okay, got that. Now, here's the pin and a washer. Let me push that out of there. Okay, the pin and the washer, we gotta make sure we don't lose that. Yeah. That's going in the cup. Okay. The bottom of the assembly is going in the cup. Yeah. All right, so here's what we got. This is the bottom of the impeller and then all of the magnetic material that was in there just fell apart on my hands here. So what I, my plan, this is what I plan to do. So let me go ahead and get this out of the way here. And I think this may work because uh, I'm going to put this in some uh, vinegar and get the rest of that oxidized material, that rusted uh, metal in there out. And um, I believe this was a magnet that was in there. And so what I think I can do, I have another magnet right here. That magnet uh, came from the back of one of these, uh, you know, magnetic uh, clips that you put on the, on the a, uh, chip clip that goes in the refrigerator. And it's about the right size. It kind of fits in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the material out of here that's all rusted. I am going to attach this here so that the impeller's on this magnet. And then I'm gonna drill a hole right through the center here and then see if I can uh, waterproof it and then uh, put it back on the assembly. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, yeah, put it back on here with the pin. 
So uh, first step is to, is to get all the oxidation off of this and then, uh, and then go to the next step of installing the magnet. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in uh, some vinegar and we'll come back uh, in about 24 hours and check on it and see how it's doing. That in there. Yes. We're gonna put some vinegar in there until it covers it. And it's already starting to bubble. All right, so we're gonna leave this here for overnight and then we'll come back and check it uh, in the morning and see how it looks and uh, hopefully uh, we can move on. All right, so we'll check back with you. Bye. Bye. All right, so this impeller sat in the uh, vinegar overnight and uh, as you can see, it's clean. And by clean, I mean there's nothing left on the impeller. It's kind of stained, but uh, there actually was nothing left of that magnet before, because as you can see, there's no metal left. That thing was completely, totally rusted. So it, the uh, the vinegar ate away all that rust. And so now we've got the impeller here. And the next thing we need to do, and hopefully get rid this, of this vinegar, yes, yeah. get rid of that vinegar. Uh, I'm gonna see about drilling a hole through the middle of this magnet so that I can mount it on the impeller here and uh, then we'll see if this works. So let me set that up. All right, so what I did here, uh, I wanna make sure I drill this hole as close to the center of the magnet as possible, otherwise we're gonna have a, a vibration or a wobble if it's off center. So I drew a little pattern of the uh, magnet on here in the paper and using these two cross sections here, I found the center of the magnet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna attach the magnet to the back of this pattern here with some tape or something and then use the Dremel tool to get that hole, hopefully right through the center. So let me set that up. So we're gonna try to get a hole right through the middle of this drill here, I mean, of this uh, magnet here and uh, Let's see if it can, uh, let's see if, okay, can you hold the board, please, Alex? Alexa, and she didn't know if we could do this, so I guess we're going to have to do it ourselves. <laughs> so we're ourselves. going to have to figure it out. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Okay. okay. Move it over here a little bit. There we go. Okay. Right in the center. So, we're having a little trouble drilling through this bit, <laughs> but now that I've got, let me see. Did I even make a dent in it? Let me get this tape off of here and see, because I should have at least a mark where the drill was trying to go through. Holy crap, all that drilling, and I still barely made a dent in this. All right, so I'm gonna have to find some other way to make a hole in this, uh, in this magnet here. Hmm. Okay, this magnet's some tough, a tough piece of metal here, <laughs> so I need to find another way. So I will be back. All right, so that first attempt didn't work. This uh, magnet is a very tough material. The drill bit did hardly anything to it on that. So I'm gonna try the Dremel tool with a different uh, bit. Uh, I found the center of the magnet marked it. We're gonna go ahead and tape it down to this uh, board so it doesn't move. And then uh, see if the, the uh, Dremel tool is a higher speed, it might do it. So let's go ahead and try this. This is my third attempt to try and drill a hole through the magnet. Now, uh, the first attempt was with the drill using just some drill bits that I had in my toolbox. That didn't work. So then I used the Dremel tool with the drill bit from the Dremel tool. That didn't work. Then I used the Dremel tool with this grinding stone here. This did have a point on it. It's no longer pointy. I tried to start a hole in the magnet so that the drill would have something to kind of grab a hold of. What ended up happening is the spot where this grinding stone was spinning against the magnet got red hot and then the magnet split into two pieces. And if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but it barely made a dent in the magnet. So I have another magnet here. I'm not gonna bother removing this magnet from the clip 
until I can actually get a hole through it. I went to the uh, uh, hardware store and I explained to them what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to put a hole to this. This is a ceramic magnet, they said. So they told me to get this black oxide drill bit and they said that could drill a hole through there. So I'm gonna try this drill bit here, see what happens. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna to have to figure out how to drill a hole through the middle of this uh, through the middle of this magnet here. Now, uh, I used my compass here, which I haven't used since high school, I think. Uh, not this one, but a compass. And I found the very center here of the, uh, of the magnet. So this bit is supposed to be pretty strong. I don't know if it's strong enough. We're gonna see. Okay, here we go. Well, this magnet also cracked. Well, I got one more idea, and then I'll have to say uh, back to the drawing board. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm gonna use my Dremel tool, and I've got this tip. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's got a, it's a cutting tip. It's got a bunch of uh, blades on it. It's a little circle. I'm gonna see if I can get a hole started in the uh, battery. I mean, excuse me, a hole started in the magnet and at least maybe I can get the drill, to drill the hole once I get it started. So let's see if this works. That is not working either. And it's getting so hot that the tip is, uh, oh, I think the, uh, hmm, I think that, no, okay, I thought the, uh, I thought the magnet might have worn out all the blades on here, but I'm not sure. Maybe. All right. I have been working on this magnet for a while now. And no matter what I use, drill bit, cutting tool, I just can't seem to make any, I mean, there's a tiny little hole there. After all that time that I spent, I need something, I need a professional with like a drill press or something that can, uh, maybe some, I don't know, maybe, maybe need another kind of uh, drill bit. But I will have to search and see what I can find and uh, come back when I find something that I can, or if I can find a magnet like this size with a hole in the middle of it. I, I don't know if that's even possible, but uh, that's the only other option. So I will be back once I figure something out. All right, so I was on my way out the door to go see if I could find someone who could put a hole in that uh, magnet. And on the way out the door, I stopped by the refrigerator and I was looking at the refrigerator magnets that we had and I was looking at the back to see if I could figure something out and uh, I pulled this one off the uh, refrigerator and sure enough, look, it has a magnet with a hole in the middle. Exactly what I needed. So, refrigerator magnet to the rescue. And it's a uh, lighthouse, of course. So, I have to replace the magnet on this with another magnet. But for the moment, we'll use that magnet for this. And this, I think, is slightly bigger than the magnet that was in there but I'm gonna to have to modify this impeller and remove these uh, pieces that have kind of like broken off from when the uh, original magnet uh, rusted. And then I should be able to glue this right to the top here. So let me go ahead and fix this up here and then I'll see about attaching it to here and then we'll go from there.
All right. I got it all cleaned up. And I should be able to put that right on the top there. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it in for now with maybe like two or three drops of glue until I test it out and make sure it works. And then I'll probably use some super glue. All right, let's do that. Okay, I have the impeller glued to the top of the magnet. Looks like it's centered. I didn't take any measurements, but I just eyeballed it, but it looks centered to me. Once that's dry, I'm gonna put the assembly back together and we'll see if it works. All right, the glue is dry. The impeller is now attached to the magnet here and I have it reassembled on, this, uh, on the assembly. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the motor here. The motor, I've reattached the motor to the, I'm holding it in with some tape, but uh, I'm gonna hold this up and see if it works. All right, let me turn the switch on. Hey, look at that. It's turning. Hey, we may have fixed this. All right. Well, on to the next step. We need to reattach this to the, uh, to the stopper and then I guess Reassemble this, all right. Uh, we'll be right back. All right, I'm going to glue the impeller assembly back down to the stopper. I'm gonna use three drops of Zappa Gap here. I'm not gonna use too much because I'll explain in a bit. Uh, I have a feeling at some point in the future, we might be back inside here. So let's get this together first here and see what happens. that dry and come back and check it all right so the glue's dry in the impeller assembly and now that that's in there and it's dry let me turn it on and let's just see okay it is turning I would think it should turn a little bit faster than that however I believe this magnet is a bit bigger than the original magnet and maybe the extra weight is making it uh, turn slower but for now, that's about as good as it's gonna get. So we're gonna to have to see what happens here. And I'm sure that'll circulate the water, maybe not quite as fast as the old one, but uh, also I uh, decided to not super glue this impeller onto the uh, magnet. And the reason why is because we're eventually gonna have this issue again. Uh, and I've been talking about how, how, you know, how good of a design this is for this, these Disney globes, the way they have the wiring and everything. Uh, this is the one weak link in this snow globe is this magnet that's inside the water here. Um, I say that the mechanism is great. The magnetic drive going through the uh, stopper here, you have no connection through the stopper. So there's no hole there if you'd had like a shaft here driving it. So less chance of water leaking. But the problem is with that magnet inside the water, eventually it oxidizes and it just rusts away like the last one did. It was completely rusted away. Nothing left. So at some point, I'll probably have to pull this back out and replace it. Uh, I don't know how long that takes, but I imagine every one of these uh, Alice in Wonderland snow globes out there is probably either has this issue or is going to have this issue at some point because that water, that metal is in the water and water and metal produces rust usually. So we'll see how it happens and I can always replace this. I just got to find another magnet with a hole in it or find a way to put a hole in a magnet the next time this happens. But who knows, it might be years from now before that happens. So now I've got the table here from the, uh, from the tea party. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that back into the stopper. Now, um, this was glued all the way around the stopper, but I'm not gonna glue it all the way around the stopper because as I said before, 
I will probably have to pull this back out at some point in the future to replace that magnet again if it rusts again. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm going to put uh, two or three drops of uh, this Zappa Gap, like right there, and that'll just kind of work its way into the area in between the stopper and the figurine there. And just enough to, uh, to hold it on. And just one right right there okay so that'll hold the uh, table onto the stopper when that's dry then we can move on to uh, looks like uh, yeah we can put this back together now I think that's uh, oh no nope we have to uh, we have to reinstall the mouse so let's go ahead and get him back in there all right so I've got the mouse here that goes inside the globe and hangs from the top this has been clean globe's been cleaned I'm gonna put one drop of glue right in the middle of this hanger because that'll spread thinly over the hanger and then uh, it'll be fine okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stick him to the top of the glow right there like that okay and I'm gonna hold it there until it glue cools and then he should be fine all right the little mouse is reattached to the top of the globe. He's hanging there. I got him straightened out so he's facing forward and uh, all right. I think we're ready to put this thing back together. So let's go. All right, so the uh, figurine is all dry and I uh, just wanted to show you. If I press the button here on the back, hopefully you can see it in the camera. There it goes. So we do have a working impeller. All Good right. job, baby. Thank you. All right, so. Now we can start putting this back together. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and disconnect this cover here. Okay. All right, we're gonna start by filling this uh, globe up with water. This is our uh, globe water here, filtered water, and we put about a tablespoon of alcohol in there to kill anything that might be living in there. Okay. Okay, so we've got the Glow about a little over three quarters of the way. All right, so I'm not gonna put any glue in the water here because of this little motor in the uh, figurine that that's supposed to circulate the, the water around. I think it'll have an easier time if yeah. the water is not thickened with anything. So just go ahead, plain water, and then uh, go ahead and put your glitter in. Okay. And we'll just go with that. You got it. I got it. Yeah. I didn't want it resting on the trees. Nope, we're good. Okay. All right, so I think I'm gonna put a heath in eighth. Normally I use. Um, I'm gonna use sunshine, but normally I use what a quarter. I think I use. You normally use a quarter, yeah. Yeah, but because it's a smaller globe, I'm just gonna use um, an eighth. Okay, so uh, just circle like this a little bit. I yeah. don't want to get near the. No, we don't have the, to really. We don't. Mouse. We don't really have to mix it well no. because we didn't put any glue in there. I just so. wanted to. Yeah, that's good. I just wanted good? to get an idea. Yeah, okay. I don't want to go any more than that. Just right. a little bit of sunshine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little yellow to go with the uh, tablecloth and the, and the yeah, coffee exactly, pot. Yeah, right, exactly, okay. exactly. All right, so let me get some water here okay. and put it on the stopper. And we're going to line up our mark right here so we get the stopper in correctly. And let's see if we can get this in there. All right, here we go. We're going to go okay. around and push this in there. Okay. Hopefully it stays, stays together. Okay. Yeah. The stopper's in. Let's see. <laughs> the, the poor um, mouse is. Yeah, oh, the <laughs> mouse. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Okay. There we go. He was stuck on the. Uh, there we go. The... Here we go. All right. So that looks oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. I can see the thing. Okay. Okay. Now let's go ahead yeah. and get that air bubble out. So okay. we're going to go ahead and lay it back at an angle and we're going to bring that air bubble. Ah, you hit the camera. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize there. Uh-huh. Okay, right there. Okay. okay. So, being that this is a small stopper, it's, uh, it doesn't have a lot of give to it. So, I'm going to try and get that syringe in there and get that air bubble out mm -hmm. without... There we go. 
All right, so tilt it up. Let me know if you see the air bubble is all gone. How's it look? Almost. Almost? Let me go ahead and pull okay. that. Okay, I think that looks Let's good. Let's see. A little bit. Little tiny air bubble. You know, that'll hide. That'll under, hide you know under what? the umbrella. That'll hide under the, the Yeah, ornament. no, that's actually, yeah. that's good. There we go. Yeah. Okay, okay, so now. All right. Now hold this. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Now that we have the, uh, let's go ahead and bring it back here. Got it? Yeah. Okay, let me connect this. Let's see what happens here. All right. All right, I'm going to hold this in the... Okay, so now press the button and see what happens. It's running. It's running. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. But... It's starting to circulate the glitter. Look. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Slowly. Slowly, but it is working. Yeah. You see the glitter? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the glitter's okay. float. The glitter's starting to float around. Okay, so that's okay. good. Press the button. All right, so. Watch out for that fence. Yep. That works. Okay. Let's disconnect this. All right. Now, we have to seal up the globe. All right, we dried up all the excess water and we used the hair dryer to make sure that this uh, area right here between the uh, stopper and the glass is dry. So we're gonna go ahead and put a bead of uh, hot glue to seal this up and hopefully she doesn't leak. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Looks like I got it. I think there might be a couple of bubbles here. We missed a little bit of water in between the the glass and the stopper, but uh, pop those bubbles, otherwise they'll they could turn into a leak. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more glue right there. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, right there. Seal that back up. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> we got the globe sealed up. Now the next step is to glue this in. And I just noticed all the way down in this little water. So we need to dry that up first. All right. So now that that's dry in the center of the uh, stopper there, I'm gonna put uh, a little bit of this Zappa Gap here on the motor, not a lot. Uh, and then I'm gonna lower it into the stopper. And that should be enough glue to hold it in. And if I ever have to take this apart again, I now know that this motor doesn't uh, go all the way through the stopper and into the impeller. So I, can, uh, I don't have to remove this motor if I ever have to re uh, re uh, repair this again. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so now uh, we go ahead and let me see. Uh, we connect these wires up. And the good thing about, about once we repair our stuff, it's not like we're turning on this motor every day. Right, yeah. Okay, so this wire was connected. So here we go. To the hip bone. No, hip no. Bones connected to the. Phone. Not, not in this case. No. Oh. Okay. Now, here we go. Okay, so we got this all connected up here. All right, so let me go ahead and put this together real quick. And okay, so let's get it out of here. Okay. Let's. Okay. I get nervous. Right. <laughs> and let's this. go ahead and set it up and make sure the motor's still working now that we got it all put together here. Okay. It's still yeah, working. Yeah. Hey, look at that it's circulating. The, yeah, I see it's working. Yeah, okay. The mouse is a little uh, stuck on the thing, yeah. Stuck on the Got thing. him. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and. Okay, so Allie, why don't you go ahead and hold this? Mm -hmm. And I'll just go ahead and, and uh, glue the uh, cover back on. Okay. And then we'll be just about done. Okay. All right, so now we usually use three drops of glue. I think I'm gonna use four because this is an oval shaped uh, cover. So we'll do one there, one there, one there, and one right there. Okay, now, 
get these wires in place here and drop the cover down. All right, we're gonna let that cool and we'll come back and take a look at it. All right, there she is, she's all finished, uh, finally. This, uh, this project spanned over, uh, over like a week, mm -hmm. uh, getting parts and uh, trying to figure out how to you know, fix that motor. But if you saw the entire video, uh, you saw after we uh, took the water out and the, uh, the mouse uh, detached from the top of the globe, uh, we got him reattached. And then if you saw the uh, motor, we had to take that thing apart, the uh, impeller, the magnet was all rusted. Uh, I managed to find a new magnet uh, I had to uh, modify it to get it to work, uh, but it's working. And uh, we decided not to mess with this little globe over here. It's got a little air bubble, but we're, we, we don't think it's been a, uh, hot glued in. It looks like it's gonna be epoxied or something. So we're just gonna uh, leave it alone. It does, it's not a big deal. But this one right here, uh, we had a few little air bubbles, very tiny ones that are hidden underneath the, uh, the, the, umbrella. Uh, the umbrella there, the ornament. And so let's go ahead and turn the motor on. Uh, <laughs> turn this, and you can probably hear it. And you can see it's uh, it's slowly circulating the glitter around the globe. Hey man, I didn't think that was gonna be a possibility just where it's, it's at now. It's doing it. It's, let me see, hopefully you can see in the camera, I'll zoom in uh, if possible, but the glitter is, uh, is circulating. It makes a little noise, but, uh, <laughs> so I'll go ahead and, uh, Play the, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, wind up this music box here so you can hear what that song is. It's the uh, unbirthday song, was it? I'm gonna have to turn the motor off so you can hear it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, that looks good. there she is, all finished up. I'll turn the motor back on here and uh, get a little more glitter uh, circulating. Uh, Probably the uh, the glitter is not circulating as fast as it should be. It's it's moving around, but once again, like I said, the uh, the magnet that I installed there is working, but it's I think bigger than the one that was there before, so it's probably a little more weight that it has to spin. But uh, I'll keep my eyes open for a, a, a magnet of the right size that uh, I can either get somebody to put a hole in it or that already has a hole like this one did and uh, maybe come back and, uh, and try to, you know, fix it again and get the right magnet in there. But anyways, here she is. And, uh, you know, let us know in the comments what you think, but uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we, learned, uh, we learned a few things working on this globe and hopefully you did too. And uh, join us on the next one. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye.